The Cessna 152 is an American two-seat, fixed tricycle gear, general aviation airplane, used primarily for flight training and personal use. It was based on the earlier Cessna 150, incorporating a number of minor design changes and a slightly more powerful engine with a longer time between overhaul. The Cessna 152 has been out of production for more than 30 years, but many are still airworthy and are still in regular use for flight training. Now, let's talk about the development of the plane. First delivered in 1977 as the 1978 model year, the 152 was a modernization of the proven Cessna 150 design. The 152 was intended to compete with the new Beechcraft Skipper and Piper Tomahawk, both of which were introduced the same year. Additional design goals were to improve useful load through a gross weight increase to 760 kilograms, decrease internal and external noise levels, and run better on the then newly introduced 100 liter fuel. As with the 150, the great majority of 152s were built at the Cessna factory in Wichita, Kansas. A number of aircraft were also built by Reims Aviation of France and given the designation F-152 or F-A-152. Production of the 152 was ended in 1985 when Cessna ended production of all of their light aircraft. By that time, a total of 7,584 examples of the 152, including A-152 and F-A-152 Aerobat, aerobatic variants, had been built worldwide. In 2007, Cessna announced that it would build a light sport successor, designated the Model 162 Skycatcher, although production ended in 2013. Talking about the design of the aircraft, First let's talk about the power plant. All Cessna 152s were manufactured with a Lycoming O235 engine which has been in production since 1942. The Lycoming provided not only an increase in engine power over the Cessna 150 but also was more compatible with the newer 100 liter low lead fuel. Cessna 152s produced between 1977 and 1982 were equipped with Lycoming O235 L2C engines, producing 82 kilowatts at 2,550 RPM. This engine still suffered some lead fouling problems in service. In 1983, it was succeeded by the 108 horsepowers O235 N2C, which featured a different piston design and a redesigned combustion chamber to reduce this problem. The N2C engine was used until 152 productions ended in 1985. Airframe The airframe is mainly of metal construction. Being primarily of 2024 T3 aluminum alloy with riveted skin. Components such as wingtips and fairings are made from glass reinforced plastic. The fuselage is a semi monocoque with vertical bulkheads and frames joined by longerins running the length of the fuselage. The wings are of a strut brace design and have a one degree dihedral angle. The tapered portion of each wing has one degree of washout. This allows greater aileron effectiveness during a stall. The 1978 model has a one piece cowling nose bowl that requires removing the propeller to remove it. The 1979 model introduced a split-nose cowling nose bowl that can be removed without removing the propeller. Flying controls. Instrument panel. Dual controls are available as optional equipment on the Cessna 152 and almost all 152s have this option installed. The Cessna 152 is equipped with differential ailerons that move through 20 degrees upwards and 15 degrees downwards. It has single-slotted flaps, which are electrically operated, and deploy to a maximum of 30 degrees. The rudder can move 23 degrees to either side, and is fitted with a ground-adjustable trim tab. The elevators move up through 25 degrees and down through 18 degrees. An adjustable trim tab is installed on the right elevator, and is controlled by a small wheel in the center of the control console. The trim tab moves 10 degrees up and 20 degrees down relative to the elevator cord line. Landing gear. 
The Cessna 152 is equipped with fixed tricycle landing gear. The main gear has tubular steel legs, surrounded by a full-length fairing, with a step for access to the cabin. The main gear has a 7 feet 7 in wheelbase. The nose wheel is connected to the engine mount, and has an oleo strut to dampen and absorb normal operating loads. The nose wheel is steerable, through 8 degrees either side of neutral, and can cast or under differential braking, up to 30 degrees. It is connected to the rudder pedals, through a spring linkage. The braking system consists of single disc brake, assemblies fitted to the main gear, and operated by a hydraulic system. Brakes are operated by, pushing on the top portion of the rudder pedals. It is possible to use differential braking, when taxiing, and this allows very tight turns to be made. The 152 is also fitted with a parking brake system. It is applied by depressing both tow brakes and then pulling the park brake lever to the pilot's left. The tow brakes are then released, but pressure is maintained in the system thereby leaving both brakes engaged. The standard tires used are 600x6 on the main Haya R and 500x5 on the nose wheel. Modifications There are hundreds of modifications available for the Cessna 152. The most frequently installed include tailwheel landing gear, STOL kits, and engine. Tailwheel landing gear. Tail driver conversions are available and have been fitted to some 152s. It involves strengthening the fuselage for the main gear, being moved further forward, removing the nose wheel, and strengthening the tail area for the tailwheel. This greatly improves short field performance and is claimed to give up to a 10 knots cruise speed increase. STOL Kits The wings can be modified using a number of STOL modification kits, some improving high speed to cruise performance, but most concentrating on STOL performance. Horton's STOL kit is one of the better known of the latter. It involves fitting a more cambered leading edge cuff to increase the maximum coefficient of lift, fitting fences at the aileron to flap intersection, and fitting drooped wingtips. Stalls with these modifications are almost off the airspeed indicator, since instrument error is high at high angles of attack. It has been said that landings can be achieved in two fuselage lengths with the kit, installed in addition to a tail rigger modification by balancing power against drag. Takeoff performance is also improved by varying degrees depending on the surface. Engine The engine's power can be increased by various modifications such as the Sparrow Hawk power package, increasing it to 125 horsepowers. The disadvantage of the Sparrow Hawk conversion is that, it uses pistons from the O235 F series engine, and therefore, the engine recommended time between overhauls is reduced from 2400 hours to 2000 hours. Other modifications. Other popular modifications include, flap gap seals to reduce drag and increase rate of climb. Different wingtips, some of which claim various cruise speed increases, and stall speed reductions. Auto fuel STCs, which permit the use of automobile fuel instead of the more expensive aviation fuel. Auxiliary fuel tanks for greater range. Door catches to replace the factory ones that often fail in service. Belly fuel drain valves to drain fuel from the lowest point in the fuel system. Variants of the Cessna 152 includes F-152, Reams built model 152, 552 built, FA-152 Aerobat. Reams built model A-152, 89 built. Cessna 152 specifications. General characteristics. Capacity, 1 passenger. Length, 24 feet, 1 inches. Wingspan, 33 feet, 4 inches. Height, 8 feet, 6 inches. Empty weight, 1,081 pounds. Maximum takeoff weight, 1,670 pounds. Power plant, Lycoming O235L2C flat 4 engine, 110 HP driving a 69 inch, 2 blade, fixed pitch Macaulay propeller or a 72 inch, 2 blade, fixed pitch Sensenic propeller. Performance Maximum speed, 126 miles per hour, that is, 110 knots. 
cruise speed, 123 miles per hour, that is, 107 knots. Stall speed, 49 miles per hour, that is, 43 knots, unpowered, flaps down. Takeoff roll, 725 feet. Range, 414 nautical miles, that is, 477 miles. Extended range, 690 nautical miles, that is, 795 miles, with long-range tanks. Service ceiling, 14,700 feet. Rate of climb, 715 feet per minute. Hope you learned something about Cessna 152 aircraft from this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Comment your suggestions for future videos in the comments section. Please subscribe to the Raw Lanka channel to watch more videos whenever they are released and not to miss them. Share this video for others to watch.